and now we are ready to, to go for the final step that is how we configure our ODBC driver in order to have a connection between Power BI to P6 database and you haven't heard about this ODBC is an open uh, database uh, driver connection that's how, what, what it stands for and it is basically just making kind of a bridge a bridge between one software to another so we have on one hand Primavera P6 database but I cannot access that directly right so I need a bridge and that bridge is going to be this open uh, database driver connector right is the ODBC that ODBC is going to allow Power BI to go through, through that bridge and connect to P6 database that's exactly what my ODBC is going to do uh, and I want to get that installed properly right so now I want you guys uh, to go again uh, to Google and now I'm just going to ask you to go for this one right you see here ODVC driver SQL light okay and then please please choose the very first one this one that is called Werner right Werner go for that one I'm just gonna click here and now you have a very detailed uh, kind of instruction how you need to download and, and so on but don't worry you are with me you don't need to pay attention to that just listen to me in this case and we are just gonna go for our current version of SQL uh, Lite and in this case again we need to make sure we install that right software according to our operating system in my case 64 bits so I'm gonna go for the second one I'm gonna ask um, my computer to get this installed and you're gonna need admin rights to go through that so please please make sure you you get that in advance so if I click there it's gonna prompt me with this one and I'm gonna say yes I want to make the changes and then you're gonna have this wizard and I'm just gonna go straight in I don't need to change anything really I just go next agree uh, you can select where do you want to to, to save that uh, I'm just gonna keep that one next I'm gonna select this SQL driver uh, just get installed okay uh, I'm not gonna finish this because I've already got that installed in my computer so I'm just gonna click on cancel but those are the steps for you to go through once that it is finished right you have now your ODBC installed but you need to configure that so that, that's why it becomes a little techy right but here you you are with, with us with pro with, with, with the, the guidance you need so please just do the following so now you what you want to do you want to to do is just go to Windows so if I go to Windows here I'm just gonna click I'm just gonna type a ODBC right once I type that it's gonna prompt me with the two options I have ODBC 32 bits in my case I need to go for 64 bits okay I click there 64 bits and now I have that data source administrator yeah okay a uh, 64 bits and now I can configure this uh, either for my user meaning that every time I log into this computer with my user it's gonna be there for me this ODBC driver uh, but I also can choose to install that for the system so anyone any user who, who kind of logging in this computer is gonna have that available for them as well it, it just depends on, on, on you guys in my case is gonna install this for my user account uh, what I need to do is first I need to check if my driver, my driver, my ODBC has been correctly installed. How how can I make sure of that? I just go for driver tab, and if I scroll down, I should find a SQL Live three or two, depending on the version you have installed, uh, showing up here. Right? I got that here. It's the same. You remember the name of the website? It's the same name. Uh, for the company so I'm, I'm pretty sure I have installed that correctly okay then I just go back to my user uh, data source and uh, name and now I want to add one more okay I want to add and configure one more ODVC bridge right here uh, it's gonna tell me what data source you want to create 
uh, I'm just going to scroll down, I'm going to select the, the one we just spot, that is SQL Live 3, ODBC driver, I'm just going to click on finish, and this, you then you is going to ask you to name it, and you can put whatever name you want, um, I could put JC is the best, there you go, if you want to put that one, I would agree with you, um, then the, the next thing is you need to locate uh, your database name, which database you want to connect with, and what would that be? Yes, you are right. The database we want to connect with is obviously Primera P6, and that's why we save all from the beginning the uh, file path where we just install our new SQL Primera P6 database. Okay, so I just need to copy this one, and I'm gonna tell this OTBC that the database I want to connect with is this one. Okay. And I just say, okay, now I have JC is the best, is my ODBC driver, and everything is done and dusted, guys. You have already got your ODBC connection. I just click OK. And then if you want to make sure that is working, you can open your Power BI. And now you can uh, select Get Data. And you can go for more because we're going to need to find the ODBC driver connection and finally get here and you can start typing ODBC and it's gonna show you that I select ODBC I connect through that bridge that I'm using in Power BI and now that data source name DSN is exactly the one we just configured in the steps before right so I need to find JC is the best, that's the one I want to use, and then I just click OK. As simple as that. But hold on, we just need to finalize uh, our last bit. Uh, if I want to connect to this database, okay, you have the, the ODBC, that's fine, JC, Power BI is, is telling me, okay, that's all right, but I need to make sure you actually have access to, to, to this database. We don't want intruders to, to get in, right? So. If you remember, when we were setting up our SQLite database in P6, it, it asked us to give us a username and a password. My username was admin and my password was admin1. That's why it's important you to remember what you put in those steps, right? And I don't need to, to put any credentials, it's, that's optional, and I just need to connect now. And Power BI is going to start thinking and voila, you have now reached all the tables in your P6 database. Such a wonderful thing, don't you think? And then during the training we're going to play with this and we're going to create really, really high impact dashboards. You have now your live connection to P6 database. Thank you guys, see you in the training.